don't know why um and then now like i live with just the girls like i don't live with my mom anymore and i think that has opened my eyes to like oh my god i'm a real adult now what the fuck do i do with my life and it's been like so weird being on my own i thought i would actually love living alone but i don't like it i really don't like it so yeah yeah the girls go to bed at 8 a.m and they wake up at i mean the girls go to bed at 8 p.m and wake up at 6 a.m I, grew, I moved out because I felt like it was time. I always said when I bought that townhome, it was never for me. It was for the girl's future, and it was mostly for my mom. So I moved. I bought the house, the townhome. I paid it off in cash so my mom doesn't have to worry about nothing but, you know, yearly taxes and stuff. But, um, yeah, my mom, I got my mom situated. The house is furnished. Everything is great. And then it was time for me to get up and start my own life. I'm literally down the street from my mom anyways. I'm not far. But, um, yeah, I don't live with her anymore. But it's low-key boring. But then it's also, like, I don't want anybody in my space now. Like, I haven't really invited anybody over. I don't want people coming over. I don't want to go out. I've literally just been home with the kids for the last few months. And, um yeah it's super boring it's super boring so yeah but I don't plan on I don't plan on living with anybody I want to live alone for a while I think I need to know what that's like I didn't want to go from house with mom house with boyfriend husband whatever you want to call it I wanted to be house with mom, then me venture off by myself, do my own thing, and then maybe in the future, you know, settle down. But right now, I think it's time for me to just focus, like, on myself and what the hell I want out of life, because life is crazy. Um, living alone, well, with the girls, obviously, it's so boring. So boring don't recommend <laughs> zero out of ten <laughs> zero out of ten um no Brittany doesn't live with me I live just me and the kids no this is not my forever home I, I, I didn't purchase a new home yet <laughs> honestly this horchata I had Mexican food earlier today and this is the best horchata I've had in a really long time. Horchata is like rice water, rice milk with cinnamon. So good. As you see, it's almost done. Um, yeah. I don't know why they're calling me messy. no idea do you girls does they the girls not necessarily miss my mom but you know they do miss the dynamic that we once had we still have it but the girls don't see my mom every day or my sister every day anymore it's so maybe like two three times a week they see my mom i had enchiladas the silent age horchata is not horchata like how do you horchata yeah i'm drinking horchata i love me some horchata <laughs> no i don't plan on staying in florida that's why i didn't buy a house out here yet another house i want to move texas georgia i don't know i want to go somewhere else Horchata. H is silent. H is silent. Horchata? Mm, 
that doesn't sound right, but I'll give you guys that. I always say horchata. Horchata. Horchata? I don't know. I just drink it. <laughs> um, I'm not ready for the hurricane. And I'm supposed to go to Cheyenne's wedding. And my flight is on Wednesday to California. But the hurricane is also coming on Wednesday. So I may not be attending Cheyenne's wedding. And it kind of makes me sad. So I'm praying that the hurricane is literally nothing. It's a tropical storm. And everything will be fine. But do we know the category that it may be? Like I don't know anything. Sorry. Um, how's the girls? The girls are good. It's always one hour tropical storm. Change your flight. Um, I don't want to change my flight because if I change it for an earlier day and the hurricane gets really bad, then I'm stuck in California. And if I, I can't change my day, I can't change my flight for the day after because that's the day of the wedding. So, don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. Oh, and I'm also trying to gauge my ears. Um, does anybody have their ears gauged? I need more details. Like, how often can I change, change the gauge? Mm. Dun, 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 dun. Hi. Oh, my sister, my sister wants to go on live with me. Sorry, Brittany. I was, like, literally... Is Bernie even on here? Yes, accept. I don't know, I accepted you, Brittany. Um, it's not working. Sorry, Brittany, I don't know. I'll answer your call later. Um... I really, I don't want them too big. I just want them like where my pinky can fit inside. I just want my pinky inside. That's how big I'm gonna go. Yeah, I don't know where Brittany is. I tried to accept her, but it didn't work. Um. So yeah. You don't go past. Mm. Yeah, I want to keep it small, but I definitely want it. I've been dying to like do something. I don't want to cut my hair. I'm already getting another tattoo next month. Thinking of getting like another piercing. I want to pierce my nose again. Um, I also want like the smiley piercing where it's like the piercing that they pierce through that little skin there that's attached to your gum and your lip. I want to get that pierced so bad. Um, yeah. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. <sighs> Why is it you always bash on Devon instead of Louis? Louis doesn't give me no money. Neither does Deloine. Um... 
I bash both equally, but one actually fights back with me, and the other one is like I'm talking to a brick wall, so we don't get anywhere. Um, but yeah, I don't remember the last time I argued with either one of them. Today probably doesn't count because of the bullshit that happened online, but I don't really talk to them. They don't talk to me when Louis comes over to see Stella. Me and him really don't communicate. Um, at the party, I didn't communicate with neither one of them really um i'm learning to keep to myself and then yeah <sighs> yeah are you single is the real question well um you'll have to see team mom and see what happens you'll have to watch the rest of team mom to see what the hell happens um Standards are so low. If you think Devon is some amazing dad, I thought Devon and you were good. Me and both my baby daddies are actually okay. You know, communicate, but we don't fight. So to me, that's a win in my book. Um, yeah. Thanks. Honestly, I feel like shit today. I didn't even want to, like, get up and take the girls to school today. Today was kind of a hard day, but I made it. I took the girls to school. I went in and got my hair blown out. Um, now I'm waiting for my girls to get out of school. I mean, out of gymnastics. Um, and, yeah, today's Friday. I just want to hang out and chill with the kids. Order food. You know Stella's into sushi? She is obsessed with sushi. So we may just get sushi for tonight. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, my nails are horrendous. I haven't got them done. I'm getting them done on Tuesday. I don't stay bashing anyone. <laughs> It's so crazy that I feel like if I haven't done something in over a year, then there's no reason to bring it up. So it's like if I haven't said anything about someone in over a year, you can't keep saying you stay doing this or you keep doing that when that's not true. Or when somebody's like, you stay having kids. I have two kids. I'd be so lost in the sauce. Or they're like, you stay talking all this shit. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't. But, you know. You know. People get more, more likes and people get more, um, more views when they talk crap about me. So that's just something that they like to do. Which is fine. But, um, no, I don't like living alone. <laughs> I stay in some drama, and that's true. I don't I have to call me delusional, but, like, that's not true either. Not true. In my personal life, with my friends and my family, there is zero drama. Zero. I've never once had an argument with Shirley, which Shirley has been my friend for decades. Never had an argument with Shay. I have a great relationship with my family. Um, I haven't fought with both dads in a very long time, over a year, to be, to be honest. Um, the lawsuit has been some time, so I haven't said anything about that. Um, the only thing that's recent is probably the whole scuffle in Oregon. But again, I didn't start that. So, I don't know. I'd like to differ, guys. I really do. I really do. And I didn't go after anybody. Those people went after me. So, no, I've never started anything. I may finish it sometimes, but I don't start it. That's another conversation for another day. Call me delusional, I guess. 
call me delusional. Um, I do have OnlyFans, but it's not going to be nudes or anything like that. I need to get back into it. I want to make content. Since I'm not on Instagram, really, I want to probably go to OnlyFans. But we'll see. I'm not posting nudes. I don't have the balls for that. Um, it's always other people's fault. Yeah, because it is. You know what? That's crazy that you say that. Um, the only... Oh, I lost you. The only Xana one. It's funny you say that, but whatever. Mm. Oh my god, we wake up every day. Some news on Shade Room about you. I don't know. Sometimes I think, like, people are jealous of me, but then it's, like, for what? I don't have, I don't, there's nothing to be jealous of, but I don't know. I don't know. And it's <laughs> summary. You're funny. Um, yeah, I still have lupus. I'm supposed to be on like two medications. I don't take it. I'm supposed to be on prednisone and something else. Don't take it. Makes me bloated as hell. Um, so, yeah. And I'm, you guys have to watch Teen Mom, because I don't even want to give anything away. You guys literally have to watch Teen Mom. So, anyways. um, Hi, Tyla. Love you so much. You're my babe, cousin, and the whole wide world. But yeah. What else are we talking about? Are you single? Are you consider dating a sh I would love to go on a dating show, but we'll see. My mom has lupus, I have lupus, and my sister has lupus. <sighs> we all have lupus. Nobody is jumping in anybody's faces. It's so, it's so funny how... I'm not going to get into it. Um... Any plans for the weekend? No. <sighs> Lucas is an autoimmune disease. You know, I would love... No, I'm not going to say that. You said your amount of time is for the kids. I feel like I maybe need to find a new doctor because the medicine that he put me on is just, I don't want to be on steroids my whole life. Steroids is, is the worst medication you can be on, especially for long term. For that, I'd rather just let lupus do its thing, you know? Hmm. I don't know what we're going to be for Halloween. No idea. I want to do a parasite cleanse. What can I buy? Please let me know. Yeah, prednisone makes you gain so much weight. So I said, booked it. None of the basics get done. Nothing. I do everything. Every single thing. And I don't complain about it, but yes. 
I haven't decorated for Halloween because it's like I go into Target and I see so many things that I love, but then I just haven't decorated for Halloween yet. I don't even know since it's my like own place now, like I wouldn't even know where to start. I'm still trying to decorate it to make it my home anyways. So I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, I'm so tired. Um, I'm gonna stay five milligrams. I'm on five milligrams, and I've gained crazy weight because of it. <laughs> I hate prednisone. It's literally the worst thing. I definitely have to find another doctor. And I also felt like prednisone wasn't helping the situation; it was just masking it. But like, I have terrible like my hands. Like, lupus is affecting my hands so much. Like, there's times where I can't even really hold my phone or even, like, the remote. Or even when I'm brushing my hair, like, my hands kill me and they hurt so bad. So, it's definitely affecting affecting my hands the worst. So, yeah. It's hard. No, I don't smoke. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm answering all these questions and you guys don't know. Like, are you guys not keeping up with me? <sighs> Keep watching so you can figure out what's going on with my mental health. It's a shit show. Um... I do have, like, CBD oil for my hands. But it doesn't help. Like, nothing has made my hands feel better. And it's 24-7. Like, my hands hurt right now. <sighs> what doctor? Twitter info, please. It's called um, No Fuss Education. No Fuss Education on Instagram if you look them up Nova's been going to them for quite some time and Nova has A's and B's and Nova struggled a lot in math but um since like working with Nova's education Nova has gotten way better grades she went from like a almost an F to a B in math so yeah I really like um Nova's tutor and they work with their schedule so there's like millions of tutors you can pick from and they um they work with you. And even on the weekends too, so that's good. Dr. Berg. Okay, I'll look into that. What's for dinner today? Probably sushi. If not sushi, um I don't know, see what the girls want to eat. I'm craving sushi. describe a day of filming the show okay i can describe a day of filming um there's usually a schedule they let me know beforehand when they're coming i usually get starbucks they give me starbucks which is fantastic that's the best part about filming is i get free starbucks um i get covid tested rapid tested i get my, my temperature checked i get mic'd um the producer runs by me what you have to film that day um or what's needed or if i have something going on we capture that um then we film and it just depends on the day or what's going on some days i have 12 hour days and some days i only film for an hour it's literally what's needed or what's going on um they go to lunch they have a lunch sometimes i go with them sometimes that's my time to like recharge because there's a lot of people in my house um, and then, yeah, filming really isn't, like, terrible. It's just when it airs and people feel like they know you and want to give unsolicited advice. But other than that, it's not, like, the worst thing in the world. I do like my producer. I've liked most of my producers in the past. Um, 
some of the crew has been with me since 16 and pregnant so they've watched me grow up i've watched them grow up um yeah it's not it's really not too bad they don't keep cameras in my house 24 7 and they don't just follow me everywhere and anywhere like they need permission like they just can't walk in with me at a super like at a target like they need permission from target to film so they don't capture every single moment of my life I don't really, Victoria, yeah, we have, honestly, all jokes, aside, all jokes aside, I don't mean to, like, toot my own horn, but I think crew-wise just loves coming to Florida. It's always a good time. Plus, it's Florida, you know, it's, it's nice weather out here. Um, so, yeah. Um, do you watch Jane Pregnant? No, but I met Kayla and Kaya and I love them so much. They're such nice girls. If they're filming a dinner, yes, they pay for our meal. Mm -hmm. If they want to film at like a, like a hotel or something, they'll, they'll pay for that stay. Um, they used to pay for flights, but not anymore. Um, honestly, editing, I really can't say it annoys me. Um, I wish we all had more screen time so that we could elaborate on our story. Because I feel like sometimes details, you know, don't end up making the episode. But you can't edit something that happened like if something happened like that's just what it is i don't feel like editing made it seem like a different way <sighs> at least for me um what else what's the worst thing about being on tv um just no privacy or how people feel super entitled to like es express their feelings which I get it, like, some of these fans have been there since the beginning, so they feel like they know us, and they feel like they can, they can comment on things, which is fine, you have your own opinion, you can say what you want, but I feel like some just, like, take it to, like, such an extreme that it's like, girl, are you okay? Because me personally, like, if I watch TV, like, for instance, 90 Day Fiance, I am obsessed with 90 Day Fiance, I can go on and on and on about it, and there's some couples that I love and some couples that I don't love. But you will never in my life see me type their name up on social media, find them, message them with hate. Like, I would never. I will find them, like all their pictures, comment on them, like, oh, my God, I love you so much. But I would never spew hate out. So it's kind of like I don't understand it because I don't do that. So when other people do it, it's like, Why? Oh, Sparkles. Sparkles. Sparkles is funny as hell. I don't love Sparkles, but I'm not going to go on his page and be like, ew, I hate you. I hope you die. I would never. I would never. So, yeah. Um, what else? What's your favorite team show right now? Oh, I don't know. I like 90 Day Fiance. I love 90 Day Fiance. That's really the only reality TV show that I watched besides Teen Mom. So, yeah, love 90 Day Fiance. I used to love Love and Hip Hop, but then I just stopped watching it. Because everyone who films gets paid. They're supposed to, but I'm not in charge of that. So nobody can be mad at me if one person is not getting paid what they think they deserve to get paid. I'm not the money man. Oh, yeah, I feel like I've been on here for a while. I think I'm going to get off. Um, I don't watch the Kardashians, no. I'll see, like, snippets, like, on TikTok and stuff, and it looks good, but I've never, I don't, I don't even remember the last time I watched 
Kardashians. <clears throat> I don't watch Jersey Shore either. Who's your favorite celebrity? I don't have one. I really don't. No, I don't have one. I started watching Married at First Sight. I stopped watching. I am watching 60 Days In, though. That is a wild show. I think if I was ever offered to do 60 Days In, I would 100% do it. I might not last. I might say, oh my god, I have the worst headache in the whole wide world on day one. But I would definitely do 60 Days In. Um, a lot of questions being asked you've already answered yeah no I don't smoke weed I can't it hurts my lungs and I don't like the way weed makes me feel hola has had better seasons. I like this season. I think it's really good. Inmate to roommate? Absolutely not. Never watch that. Edibles? Mm, they're okay. I don't have very great experience with that. This season is so boring. On 60 Days In, no, it's so good. Uh, I like Car Me too, I love Carlos. I thought, I honestly thought Carlos was going to um, chicken out, like, when he was, um, he had to quarantine, which kind of sucks. Quarantine for 14 days, and you only get to go outside for one hour. I can see how that fucks with your mental. But I thought he was gonna... I thought he was gonna chicken out the first day. I was like, damn, you talked all that shit and then you had to and then you was like, I have a headache. But he's still there. So yeah. It's sad how I would go on the internet and like a few of those, you know, castmates have died. I was like, oh no, I can't watch it anymore. Carlos is starting trouble. Yes, I wanna be there for Shirley when she has her baby. Uh, Married at First Sight. No, I stopped, I stopped watching those shows. I don't watch any shows. I don't. I don't have time to watch TV. No time. And sometimes I like to sit in complete silence. I feel like that's serial killer vibes. Um, but sometimes I don't like to watch anything and just be in complete silence and in my thoughts. Especially in the car. Like, I don't really listen to music in the car. Um, yeah. And then I just found out that, um, Jeffrey Dahmer and me, we have the same birthday <sighs> series on Jeffrey. I finished it. It was really good. Um, but yeah. <sighs> I'm going to get off. Um, no, I don't have a plan on moving in with anybody. I want to be alone for a while. I think I deserve that. But yeah. Okay, guys. I'm going to get out of here. It was nice chatting with you guys. I'm going to promise to try my hardest not to entertain these crazy people online anymore. I'm going to try. But yeah, see ya.